So here's the chrome motor stator in here. We got some sockets holding it up. We've already pushed it in a little. We took out the snap ring, that's important. Making sure we're pushing it through the correct direction. Making sure that this wire is not going to get abused when I press it through. This is a 10,000 pound hydraulic press. It is making it really easy. And here goes, pushing through the short axle. I'm putting in a wider axle. Like butter. Like butter. So this is a 170 millimeter axle that I don't have any use for anymore. I'm putting in longer, or should I say wider axles. The dropouts are wider and the axle is wider so that I can fit more gears. I guess it's just so I can fit more gears. <laughs> so here it is getting ready to push in the wider axle. Uh, we've made sure that the axle is centered on the press. We've got protection here so that we're not going to abuse the hall sensor wires or the windings. And everything seems to be in order here. Make sure we have pressure on the press. Do some controlled cranking. It goes in very easily with the 10,000 pound hydraulic press. It's going in just literally like butter. And uh, hopefully it'll be aligned. It looks like now it's aligned. There's a little lining pin in there. It's going in very easily. I'll check my support system down here. The support system is good. Clearance is beautiful. It's gonna go in and the shoulder is gonna stop it. We still got another inch and a quarter. Let me check my support system. It is skewing a little bit, so I'm just gonna hold it, keep rolling. So, cranking. A little harder to crank now. One of the hall sensor wires is touching the axle, so I'll just pull that out of the way a little bit. It's pretty hard to crank. So I got another uh, five eighths of an inch. We got another half inch. It's going in. Obviously, the aligning pin is centered. It's going in just absolutely beautifully. This is really easy. So here it's almost done. Got about another sixteenth of an inch. Let's go for a nice smooth finish here. And that shoulder is going to stop it, and it's in there. So we'll check our work and hope that everything is okay. So we're ready for the snap ring. Here's this side. It looks perfect to me. It went in, the shoulder stops it automatically so you know where to stop it. And then the snap ring, there's a snap ring groove here. I don't know if you can see it in the video, there's a snap ring groove. Snap ring goes up flush against the stator. And like I said, I'm always careful not to abuse the, the wire or the hall sensors or the windings.